going to demonstrate to you how to set in sleeves on a pieced and seamed sweater. And I've demonstrated this technique before, but inside of a bigger tutorial. So I want to break it out and show you how to do this um, for really any, any sweater you're knitting that has pieces to it. And when I say that, I mean uh, a pullover that has a separate front, back, and two sleeves, so four pieces, or a cardigan that has two fronts, two sleeves, and a back. And then you're going to seam it up like you would a fabric pattern. You, you seam up the whole thing together to make a sweater out of it. Uh, a lot of the sweater patterns that I have out are for top-down raglan sweaters that don't require seaming. Sweaters that require seaming do offer more of a tailored structure to them. I, I think they're great. I like both. Top-down raglans are obviously easier to fit and finish, but the work you put into a seam sweater is worth it. But setting in the sleeve is probably the most complicated part that isn't as straightforward stitch to stitch as you're seaming up the side seams and things like that. Let's go ahead and take a look. Here is my sweater. And we panned out the camera a little bit here to really fit as much of this as, as possible. This side, this sleeve is already seamed. And here is a cardigan front, here is a cardigan front, and here is the open spot where my neck sleeve needs to go. This is the shoulder seam. I've already seen that, and these are my armholes, right here and right here. Okay. And this is my sleeve. And you'll notice that things are looking pretty smooth and nice because I did already steam block these items to make them flat, to make seaming easier. And if you'd like to see my video on steam blocking, I'll give you a link right here. Now the trick is, with setting in a sleeve, is that we have decreases and decreases and flat parts and things don't match up stitch for stitch. So like when you're seaming the sides, it's side to side. And when you're seaming the shoulders, it's um, uh, this way, stitch to stitch. But in sleeves, you end up with some of this, and some of this, and some of this, and some of this. So it has to be eased, and that's what we're going to learn to do. Here's my shoulder seam, which will be the very center of the armhole, and here is the top of the sleeve cap, everything from here up being the sleeve cap. I'm going to fold the sleeve cap in half to find the very, very center of it, and then I'm going to take a clippy marker and put it right into the very center of that. Okay, so now I know where I want the center of my sleeve cap to fit into the shoulder seam here. And all I'm going to do is clip that in right there. There's our first guideline. Okay, everything has to work from there. And then the next thing I know is that is going to match up is over here at the very edge, the very, this is going to end up being the very armpit, the very armpit of it, the very center of the underarm is right here. So I can clip these two pieces together. Those are my two knowns. Everything else is going to be something that I'm going to ease together and figure out. So with those two things right there, I'm going to just keep splitting the difference and figuring out how to match things up. And so I'm going to match things up until they look pretty good and everything matches. Okay, and everything seems to be matching up pretty well. That's the sign of a pattern that's well written, is when the sleeve fits in well. So, everything looks good. I will put another clippy marker right there. And now I'm just going to keep splitting the difference again. Match this up. Looks good. Put a clippy in there. And there's the last big gap I have. So I'll match this up and put a clippy in there. Now, of course, this just all worked out beautifully. And if you are having any issues with it, the, it matching up very well, what you want to do is to make sure that this is all very smooth. And if there's any part that isn't matching or you have to fudge something to make it work, you want it to happen in the armpit, not on the shoulder. You want the shoulder to be beautiful and perfect as far down as it can be, and then do any fudging where you're skipping stitches or 
Um, yeah, mostly skipping stitches to make the two halves match in the armpit. Okay, so you, you have this perfect, you'll get this side perfect, and then when you start seaming, you're going to do the mattress stitch, which is what, uh, unless your pattern says something different, you'll want to use the mattress stitch. And you'll want to start, you'll want to do actually two seams for setting in the sleeve. You want to start here and go down, and start here and go down. And that is so that everything is beautiful and perfect on the shoulder. That is the goal here, is to make sure there is, um, the best part of your work is the most visible part right up here on the shoulder. And then once you have the entire sleeve sewn in like this, you can fold the sweater in half, probably better to show you on the other side. And you can start here at the sleeve cuff or here at the bottom of the sweater and just go all the way up the side of the sweater into the underarm and down the sleeve in one big seam. And that is probably the most complicated part of putting together a piece sweater setting in the sleeves. Good luck.